But big up to Obina with the 499 super chat. He says, Dom, real quick, what's your opinion on Davies? Okay, so um, since Obina dropped the super chat, I have to interrupt what I was actually doing and address this. I have to, you know, remember where I left off. I left off at West West Brom's signing this um this season, this January transfer window as well. So Obina12 is asking, do appreciate the super chat as well, Obina. Big up. He's asking, um, what's your opinion on Davies? Div to defender, division to defender that allowed a boatload of goals this season. Not impressed. Is that the best we can do, meaning as Liverpool? Well, guys, just to address this one really quick, and there, there are positives and there are negatives, and I'll, and I'll let you know the pros and cons here of how I think about the signing of Davies and Kabak as well. Liverpool brought in two defenders, one on Sunday, and it was, it was made official today. Let's just say deadline day signings, but Liverpool has been watching Kabak for some time. So Kabak isn't like a spur-of-the-moment signing, but I think Ben Davies is a spur-of-the-moment signing, being that Liverpool realized they have to sign back up because Joel Matip got injured. So your three main defenders injured, Joel Matip, Van Dijk, Gomez out. Fabinho, we know he was suffering from an injury um, problem last season, and Maybe there's a recurring injury or maybe he broke down after the strenuous work he had to put in at center back. Henderson, you know, he's not 100% fit these days too. So Liverpool had to bring in some type of coverage. They went to Preston North End. I didn't really go and look into what Preston are doing and, you know, where they at in the league or anything like that. We could, we could look at that right now. We could go and look at that right now. So, Preston, Preston North End FC. So, we take a look at Preston right now. They're 11th in the championship. You check the standings, see how many goals they shipped. They actually shipped uh, gold against 34 goals and they scored 31. So, they are not. Ah, oh, man. They, they they have they have like one of the worst defenses in the league. You're right. They have one of the worst defenses in the league. But the thing is, maybe his stats are, are decent, meaning not the goals and assists stat, maybe his pass completion percentage. You know, maybe they took a look at him, saw if he's technically good and all of that. And they brought him in. So this could actually be a sign in that could work. It could work being the player, relish the opportunity, and he steps up, he takes it by the horns, grabs it by the balls, and he becomes a really good player, just like Robertson moved from the championship with Hull to Liverpool, took his opportunity, and now he is amongst the best left backs out there. So Ben Davies, very, very cheap option, under £2 million, and... It just shows where Liverpool is at in terms of the money in the in the kitty too. Because if you want a centre-back and there's a centre-back out there with a release clause, you go and get that centre-back. You see what I'm saying? But Liverpool don't want to spend that type of money. So they're looking at the cheaper option, a band-aid option. Maybe he comes good. And if he doesn't, maybe they move him on in the summer and then for Ozan Kabak it's the same the fact that they brought him in on loan and not try to make it an obligation to buy but an option to buy it shows that Liverpool are more cautious here they just want to bring in cover and I think I, I, I don't know how these players will do but you never know to be honest you never know but if I was if this was Man City Personally, I would not have wanted any of these players. Just, just so you know, I would not have wanted any of them. I don't want them to get any minutes at City. So I don't think Klopp is going to put both of these guys out at the same time. 
like a Kabak and Davies center back partnership, it won't happen. It won't happen. I think Nat Phillips should be given the chance to, to prove himself alongside a, a Jordan. Jordan Henderson is probably most likely better than the both of them. Kabak is only 20, and he has been enduring a whole, uh, one whole year of terrible, terrible, terrible misfortunes with Schalke. So you never know. They could come good. They could come good. On the club, tutelage, who knows? Who knows what club could bring out of these guys? So it's a situation where I don't know yet. I have to wait and see what they do. So that's the best answer I could give you. And I think I was pretty fair with that. And I was pretty, you know, impartial. <laughs>